In your video editor page of Edpuzzle, at the top of your page you can find four buttons. Crop video, voiceover, audio notes and quizzes. Each of them allows you to edit your video or add specific content to it. The first button is the crop video button. In the centre of our screen we can see our video. Below the video we find our timeline. The timeline has a play button on the left and the blue round circle we can move through the video with it. We can also see two red tabs on our timeline, one at the beginning and the other at the end of our video. As soon as we start moving one of these tabs, we can see that the red time code at the end of our timeline changes based on where we put the tab. We are cropping the video and making a new beginning with the tab on the left and a new end tab on the right of our video. The three time codes at the end of our timeline have different meanings. The red one, the first on top, represents the new length of our video after we've cropped. The black one in the middle represents the position of our cursor on the timeline, while the grey one represents the original length of our videos. When we've decided how much of the video we want to use, we can click save or we can simply move to another section of our video editor page to save our edit. If we don't want to cut anything out of the video, we simply skip this passage. If we just wanted to cut the video, click the Edpuzzle logo and go back to your library where you'll find your video cropped and saved.